I am gonna do, oh there it comes on, some... You missed the shot. I know. There you Thank go. you. We're gonna do some last minute shopping before I go overseas again tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm excited but I also don't want to leave Dan and Sneaks. She so fluffy. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. You're talking third person. What? You. Oh, me? I thought you were talking about sneaky. I thought yeah, he said I, I, she doesn't care about us. Mm. Um, if you want a surefire way to use all your camera gear like heaps, like get really good use out of it and break everything. Give it to Joel. Do some daily vlogs because that's how it's going to happen. <laughs> Seriously, I've never used a camera the way I've used it now that I've started vlogging like while traveling. And My biggest fear is that this camera is not recording while I'm recording. <laughs> Because I've dipped that a few times and it's, it's bad. Uh, it's bad. bad. And at the camera store, we're gonna buy some goods. This one's different for me. How is it that we can buy 10 little things that all cost a tiny bit of money? Well, last time I came to get you a lens cap for five bucks and I spent 350. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank you for spending that money. <laughs> <laughs> for my lens cap. 350 Which is like right. this small. $300 lens cap. Yeah. That's the title of the YouTube video. $300 lens cap. We got a HDMI cable for the A7S so I can actually see what I'm recording sometimes. Another lens cap because they're really tiny and I lose them. And two glass screen protectors for the A7S. That's everything. You ready? Where am I going? I wanted to film some nice, like, scenic out the car window shots driving to our next destination. But we live in Sydney. <laughs> yeah. It's so pretty, it's like a, like a brutal ice cream, it's a red I ended up getting raspberry and pear and rhubarb. It was so good. So we just went and got some ice cream. Some. <laughs> Dan got a little bit more than me. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Mess. A total mess. Happens every time Jules comes back. <laughs> and just generally every day because... We work. Yeah. We do too much. This is my desktop background. It's a 35mm photo that we took in Yosemite. These are the beautiful flowers that Dan got me. So sweet. So the whole point was Dan is showing me how to use the screen with the Sony because when I'm vlogging I can't actually see what I'm filming. So when I'm in like the hotel room or when I do a Q&A, he's going to plug it in right now <laughs> while I'm filming. I'm impatient. <laughs> um, I might actually be able to frame the frame properly and make sure it's recording and make sure I'm in focus because the last what's in my camera bag video with the Q&A at the end of it, the framing was a little bit wonky. But yeah, hopefully this will fix up the issue for me. Damn, that kind of battery 100% did. Yay, we have it working. So now instead of the shot looking like this, I can actually like, what are you doing? Fix it. So it looks like this. <laughs> I'm so happy. I think Jules should just go to 4K recording. Thanks for the help. Yeah, no, so now you just stole another one of my cables. <laughs> this is my suitcase coming home from Argentina and I haven't unpacked anything and in three months I haven't been home for longer than a week. After my trip home from Argentina I've got a lot of random stuff in my bag. I bought this handbag from Sportsco I think and I took it with me to New York with my friends and I had my Canon 5D Mark III in there like pretty much every day walking around and it like totally teared the whole bag and then I took it with me to Argentina where I had the Sony in it and I think it's it's time to check it out <laughs> it's it's done for and I've got little plain stubs my Harry Potter book in Spanish because <laughs> I was practicing my Spanish on the plane ride there and beforehand oh and it has like a bunch of random plane tickets and receipts from Argentina <laughs> just like chucked in there. 
I don't know, the rest of this is random. I forgot I bought this little bag. I bought this at La Boca. Apparently they're handmade. It's they're really pretty. And then I have all my coffee. <laughs> this is everything I have left over. I always take coffee. And, oh, a two dollar coin. Uh, <laughs> a two dollar note. Dos pesos. unpacking and now I need to pack everything I don't know where to start <laughs> I actually do These guys are like best friends when I'm going. We get that best back to us now. <laughs> Can you stop dead staring the camera? Super evil. Sometimes she won't eat unless I pat her. Yes. So good. She's the spoiledest kitty in the whole wide world. Currently copying over some files onto my little hard drive because I want to get some editing done on the plane. I already copied over a bunch and this is the last one which will be done in like three minutes. And then I need to pack. Alright, so I don't remember if I filmed anything today but hi, good morning, it is now the next day. And we are heading off to the airport, my second home. <laughs> I, I feel like I've... I've no, I, I literally have been out of the country more. I literally feel, literally, not figuratively, <laughs> literally feel like a chauffeur. <laughs> He's got too many bills from the airport park. Oh, sorry. I hate you, Sydney Airport. <laughs> and you're driving. Thank you. Bye. Good day. I am back at my second term of the airport. Back at it again with the airport. I see you Dan waiting for me. It makes me so happy. <laughs> Love you. Bye Dan. I may or may not have cried when I'm saying goodbye to Dan. Saying goodbye is really hard. Not gonna lie. <laughs> at Bangkok airport and this is the first time ever that I'm actually staying on the plane while they refuel and stuff I thought we we're gonna have to get off yeah we've got like half an hour and then we'll take off again so I just landed in Dubai and I am in the taxi on my way to the hotel and this is just what I'm seeing for the first time while I'm here but I'm noticing that there's a lot of smog I'm not sure it's from if it's from the sand or but it looks pretty cool. This is beautiful. I just ordered a coffee because I feel like I'm falling asleep and it came with this little pastry. And that's my view. I can't believe I'm here. I am just getting some work done out here in the Vicro Hotel while I'm waiting for my room to be ready. And it is super hot and I keep running away from the sun, but it keeps finding me again. Alright, so I just checked into my room. Here we have the, the bathroom. This bathtub looks amazing. I love it. And it's got a little mirror if you like. Hey! <laughs> Here are the, oh, there's like two showers. Oh no, it's a toilet. And the shower. Nice. Here we have the main bedroom. They, they put a, a roll out bed for some reason. I don't know why, but they're gonna get rid of it. And um, ooh, that's cute. This Trotty, welcome to Vicro Palm. Jumurai Dubai from the lifestyle team. We are wishing you a very enjoyable stay with us That's so sweet There's like this little box What's in here? I can't open it with one hand Ooh, some chocolate 
Oh, that looks so good. Wow, there's like little gold flakes on it. So pretty. Here we have the bedroom, the bed, gigantic TV, and here we have the mini bar. And that's the that. Oh my god. Wow, look at the view. Oh my gosh. How do I open this? Sorry for gushing, I just, this is incredible. Goodbye, over here. And it's super hazy, like I was saying before when I was in the cab. I'm not sure if that's from the stand or what, but... Wow. I've got a beautiful balcony area. Look at this. A little lounging chair, I reckon I'm gonna get a lot of work done there. So, I'm doing something I've never done before in a hotel room and actually unpacking all my clothes. The time is currently 7.33pm. I just woke up from a nap about an hour ago. I am so jet lagged I think today. Dan was gonna wake me up an hour later and he was calling and calling and calling and calling and calling and I slept through everything. I slept through the Skype calls on my laptop, phone calls on my phone, I slept through a timer and an alarm that I set for myself. I slept through absolutely everything and I woke up at 6.30 instead. So I slept for two hours and then Dan and I were Skyping as I watched the sunset and all the lights in the city turn on and then it was like 1am in Australia so Dan went home. Dan went home. <laughs> See I'm still tired. It's just, uh. So Dan went to bed. When I first got onto the balcony and saw the city it kind of feels like I stepped off the plane onto a different planet. It's it's incredible. And now I'm pretty much waiting for Christina. She just messaged me that she landed at the airport and is going through customs now. Stop. But yeah, I don't know. It's all. Oh, I'm just like stepped in I'm super excited to be here. I feel a little delirious right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Now I am in my pajamas, in my cat pajamas. <laughs> <laughs>